Hey y'all, it's Tony. So it is Friday and it's the, like a week before my vacation and I'm about to braid my hair. Well, not braid, I'm gonna do faux locks. The goddess faux locks. So I got, and this is my first time doing this. I've seen several YouTube videos. So hopefully it turns out good. But I'm gonna use this. Um, it's the Sweetie Afro Braid in color one. And I got four of these. I'm gonna cut them in half because I want them to be fairly short. And then I got the Free Trust um, braid hair. It's in deep twist. And I just got one pack of this. So I'm hoping that it's enough. If not, I have a I have a wig that is curly hair, and I will cut some hair off of that because I'm not going back to this store. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, go through and braid my hair kind of like box braids but adding that free trust hair on the end of each braid and then I'm going to um, wrap the Marley hair around. That's what I've seen on several videos and afterwards I have these little cute little jewelry hair accessories I'll probably wait until my actual vacation to put these on I don't know yet but if you're interested please stay tuned it is 5 25 p.m. and once I'm done I will let y'all know what time it is all right guys I am halfway through um, I'm trying to do them uh, fairly not big but like a medium size because your girl is not in the mood to do anything small but this is what it's looking like so far um i think they're gonna be cute i'll be able to show y'all a better picture when i get up to the front but yeah i just parted my sections for each side and I'm probably going to do like three on each side. So I will come back when I'm a little bit, when I have a little bit more done. It's hard talking and doing this, like explaining what you're doing. Because I really just do whatever feels right. And I braid all the way down to where um, I know for sure none of my real hair is out. And I just take a a small piece of the free truss and wrap it around to make a knot. So once you get closer to the bottom just be mindful where that knot is because that's where you want to stop wrapping the hair um, while wrap, wrapping it down. Whatever you have left at the point of the knot which is right here I'm going to start wrapping up. Like I said, I laid the smaller piece on the other side and wrapping that with, I'm wrapping, basically wrapping that against the initial braid. And I just feel like that's going to keep it secured, but enough talking. So when you're wrapping it, as I was saying, just keep on wrapping it as tight as possible. I'm purposely not making my parts and my um, everything like too neat because I want to have it look as realistic as possible. And I just feel like when it's too neat and it's too uniform, it does not look real. I mean, once I got to the front, I'm having a lot of of this Marley hair left over. So I'm just gonna keep on wrapping it back up because the front is kind of thin. But I do have my edges. Hey y'all, so I'm still working on it. And this is where having thick hair stresses me out because I'm like, I just wanna be done. And I'm trying not to like make the parts 
um, I'm trying to make the parts neat at the top so it doesn't look bad but at this point I'm like bro I still have all this hair and it's 12 36 a.m. yeah so I'm gonna just try to finish it off and I'll probably just come back in the morning and show y'all because I know once I get done I'm about to jump in the shower and <clears throat> excuse me jump in the shower and go to sleep. this is the final product I had to take pictures instead of creating a video because once I got done it was 2 a.m. and I was so tired but thank you for watching if you enjoyed this please subscribe and um, comment below of different styles that you would like to see also I'm creating a video on my review of this so stay tuned for that